Es un placer hasta ahora estar con Chich Marin. Gracias por estar en la W Radio. ¿Cómo fue la experiencia trabajando con todo el elenco de The Champions? ¿Qué fue lo que más le llamó la atención? Surprising. It's surprising that they could act, having never acted before, and surprising that they could play basketball as well as they did uh, when the, you wouldn't expect that they would, because they had some physical disabilities and some intellectual disabilities. And, and when I got on the set right away, I go, oh, these kids can play. This movie's going to work. Señor Marin, ¿cómo llegó usted a este proyecto? Well, it had two elements that I really liked. Uh, first of all, Woody Harrelson, who I had worked with before, mm -hmm. and, and Bobby Fairley, who I hadn't worked with before, but had admired a long time for his, he and his brother's movies. I liked it. So, okay, they're going to bring that kind of movie to this kind of script, and Woody's in it. Okay, I'll do it. That's, that's really the process. La película Champions tiene un mensaje importante de inclusión social. En su opinión, ¿cree que esta película abrirá más el diálogo a ser más incluyentes? I hope it does. I mean, it should, because if you don't get it from this movie, I don't know where you're going to get it, you know. The interesting part of the movie to me, one of the most interesting, was the romance between Woody and Caitlin, the, the sister. I didn't expect that, you know, because you can read something and okay, uh, uh, but they made that relationship work and you saw the, how to handle these kids through her eyes as much as you did from anybody else's. And that was very interesting and can you sustain your life and have a romance or, you know, be without, and yes, and I, I was really surprised that, that their romance came, came through so powerfully. ¿Cómo puede describir a su personaje, Julio? Well, Julio is, uh, you know, the reason that Woody is there in this movie to go to this gym that I run is because my niece was the judge that sentenced him to, to do that. You know, it doesn't come out in the, in the movie, it's got cut out. But that's why it is so like, oh, this is going to be, it's a family, and they have family uh, connections, and uh, so... Uh, They sent him to my to my gym, and I've seen these guys before. You know, the Woody is not the first guy to come through the trend, and I know how some of some of them work, some of them don't work. How the kids like him, don't like him, and so I said, well, just here's another guy, and we'll see what what he's got. Señor Marin, usted mencionó que no es la primera vez que ha trabajado con Woody Harrelson. ¿Cuál es esa magia, ese click que logran ustedes en el escenario? Well, it's like, you know, if like you're a singer and you find somebody that can harmonize with you naturally without to it, then, then it works. And Woody and I always had that. 40 años para lograr el Centro Cultural para el Arte Chicano. ¿Cómo nace este museo, este proyecto? The Chicano Art has been collecting for 50 years, you know, and I would always studied art from a very early age. And, I, and when I got enough money to buy art, the first thing I saw was Chicano Art. This is, these are beautiful paintings. These artists are very good. How come they're not getting shelf space? What, they, they don't get galleries, they don't get museums. Why? Well, they just don't, okay, well, whatever. I'm going to collect this and then, and at some point my friends said, you got to show this. This is no, does you no good under the bed or in the closet. How do you do that? So I figured, figured out how to do it and start touring the, touring the, the collection. And at, at the time we got offered the museum, Uh, the collection had played in over 50 museums. That's unheard of for wow. a private collection, unheard of, because they don't want to do that. And I understand why, you know. Uh, they don't want you to usurp their curatorial uh, presence. And I, and I, but my, my question to them always was the museums that were hesitant. I says, well, I have this collection because you don't. Wow. And there was never any answer to that. Okay, we'll, we'll put it in, you know. And so one thing led to another, and then I was at the right place at the right time, and and we both fulfilled a need. Uh, the the town had a building that they wanted to repurpose, and I was looking for what to do with this collection now that I was done. Basically, they both came together and like, okay, I guess it's supposed to happen, you know. I, was, I, I used the example of like you know the house that falls from the sky in the Wizard of Oz. <laughs> and it's falling, and just stand on that X, it's going to fall right on you. And, and, but the acceptance of the community, uh, the Inland Empire, the Chicano community, you know, the, the Chicano community is, 
uh, supported me all my career, no matter what I did. Uh, records or concerts or movies or solo movies or the and this is my gift back to them. Como quiere Chich Marion ser recordado? I would wouldn't wouldn't mind being remembered as the founder of the Chich, you know, the 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 Chich man. I got that in there as soon as I I could, you know. But what should we call this? Place? The Chich. You know, it was it was wonderful to have my name on it, but it was wonderful that everybody got the opportunity to see this art in one place and establish it as a real legitimate American school of art, maybe the most powerful. ¿Cuál es su mejor tip, su mejor consejo para las nuevas generaciones de actores para ser exitosos? Act all the time on whatever platform. If it's a, if it's a, a play or a stage or a community theater or on the back of a rolling watermelon, it doesn't make any difference. Work all the time. It's like doing push-ups. Or, you know, that, the more you do that, the stronger you get. So when your, when your opportunity comes, you'll be strong. If you don't do that, <laughs> protagonista de Champions, gracias por estar en la W. Thank you. Thank you.